All right, so section 2.9, inverse functions, okay? So inverse functions basically means that they want us to find a function that when I, when I compose two functions together, it equals x. And, and that's great that that's the definition, but we're not going to do that part, okay? We're just going to do the finding of an inverse function. So let me show you what it looks like, okay? I'm going to teach this to you by example. Now, this example is not from your homework, just so you know. This is just going to be an example in general. So, find the inverse. I will do a couple from your homework. Not many, because there's only eight problems. Okay? So, find the inverse. And they give us this. Y equal to, let's say, 2X plus 4. And they want us to find the inverse. So, step number one, um, literally, I'm going to write that, literally change x to y and y to x. Like you're literally going to change it. So right now it says y equals 2x plus 4. So step one says, write it, x equals 2y plus 4. That's not a hard step, right? Just switch the letters. You don't have to do anything. Just literally switch them. Okay? Step two. Solve for y. So now we're going to solve for the actual y value. Okay? So... Solving for y. So if I want to solve for y, you can see right there, there's a 2y plus 4, right? If I want to solve for y, I first want to get rid of the plus 4. Addition and subtraction always gets moved first, okay? And then we'll get rid of the multiplication and division. It's backwards from PEMDAS, right? PEMDAS, whenever you're trying to solve equations, you always go like uh, multiplication or division first, addition or subtraction next. Go backwards when you're solving, okay? So we're going to get rid of that addition of 4. So let's subtract 4 on both sides. So now it says x minus 4 equals 2y. Now, I have to keep solving for y. So I have a 2 times y. I have to divide by 2. Divide everything by 2. Okay? So I get 1 half x minus 2 equals to y. All right, so there's, there's me solving for y. Okay, third step, not a hard step, but third step says, number three, write y as f inverse of x. So that's the notation, okay? This is your inverse notation right here. So you're going to change the letter Y into F inverse of X. So here we go. Half X minus 2 equals F inverse of X, and I'm done. That's your inverse function. Three steps. Okay, step number one. Literally change x to y and y to x. Not, mad, not by moving things around, not by doing anything special. You are literally just changing x to y and y to x. Okay? Second step, you solve for y. Just like you would normally do with any equation, you solve for y. And then once you have y solved for, you're going to rewrite the letter y as f inverse of x. And then you're basically telling me that's my inverse right there. That's my answer. Okay. Questions on this one? Three steps. All right. So hopefully this doesn't seem too difficult, but that's that's it. That's what you guys are doing for homework. So let's do a couple of problems here. Um, let's do some that look a little different. I'm not going to do six because that's really easy. Uh, but we'll go number four. So this is uh, going to be your first example from your homework. Okay. So same instructions, 
All right, uh, find the inverse. And this is what it looks like. So in this case, it says f of x equals to x minus 4 over 5. Let me zoom it back into 100%, sorry. So in this case, this is the way it looks. What can I rewrite f of x as? Y, right? So let me go ahead and do that. I know that's not a step in the process, but you kind of need to have x's and y's. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right. So it's set up. I'm, I'm ready to go. Okay, bless you. I'm ready to go. So step number one, switch your x to a y and your y to an x. Okay, so this is now x equals y minus 4 over 5. Step number one. Okay, if you want to, I'll, I'll kind of put like a little star here and put a one. That way you guys know what I just did was step one. Okay. All right, step number two, solve for y. So I'm going to put a little star here. That way when you guys are following along, you can say, oh, that was step two, what he's doing now. So in order to solve for y, what do I have to move first? That 5, right? It's dividing by 5, so let's multiply both sides by 5. In other words, we're going to take it over here, multiply it out. So that's going to be 5x equal to y minus 4. All right, so far so good. And what do I do to finish off solving for y? I add 4, so let's do plus 4, plus 4. I get 5x plus 4 is equal to y. All right, once it's solved for y, step number three. Just rewrite y as f inverse of x. So 5x plus 4 is equal to f inverse of x. What do you guys think? Easy? Hard? Eh? It's not terrible, right? You're just solving, that's all. We're not even solving for a number, right? We're just rewriting stuff. It's just like reorganizing, okay? Um, I was going to say it's just like putting away your, your clean laundry, but if you're anything like my daughters, it doesn't always get put away right away. Um, you, you find it next to the t their TV and their, their uh, desk and the floor. So I don't know how they live like that. If you guys do that, I don't know how you guys do that. Like you guys know bugs love climbing into clumps of clothing on the floor, right? That's where you always find spiders and crickets, right? Don't leave stuff on the floor. Because um, then they always call me, oh, there's a spider. I'm like, well, pick up your clothes. Um, all right, so that's one of your homework problems. Um, let's do one more here, number seven. And then if you have any questions, just let me know. Sir? Oh, it, it, well, I'm going to call it two because this one was not from your homework. The other two are. So I guess you're right. It is example three. I just, the way I numbered it, I'm going with two. It doesn't matter, right? Um, as long as, uh, as long as you get the work done. But yeah, it is, it is number three. If you didn't put example one on the other one and then one, two, it would be example number three right now. Um, so find the inverse, and here is what the problem looks like, okay? H of X is equal to negative 3 minus 8 thirds x. I would say the last two problems are going to be the toughest ones because they both look like this. They look similar to this. It doesn't mean that they're hard to do, but these are the toughest ones. Uh, that fraction sometimes freaks people out, so, you know, that's what I'm saying. It might be the toughest one. All right. So step number one, rewrite, right? We're going to rewrite, well, actually, let me rephrase. That's not really the first step. I'm only going to rewrite h of x into y because it says h of x. If it's a y, then I don't have to rewrite it into anything. It's just y, okay? There are, there are uh, I think all the ones on your homework are going to say f of x, g of x, h of x, okay? So there we go. First step, change x to y, y to x. So it's going to be x equal to negative 3 minus 
8 third x. Whoops. Yeah, 8 third y. I just saw it right now. I'm like, wait a minute. I didn't change it. So yeah, 8 thirds y. So that's step number one right here. Okay. We just changed it up. All right, step number two, solve for y. Okay. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides. So that's x plus 3 equal to negative 8 thirds y. So I guess this is why I say this might be the hardest step. What do I do to get y by itself? Say it again. I can multiply by 3, right? And then divide by negative 8 after. Or you could do it all at once. Okay, do you guys learn that, right? That you can multiply by the reciprocal on both sides? So if you ever want to get rid of a fraction in front of a letter, multiply by its reciprocal, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply this side by negative 3 eighths. And I'm going to multiply this side by negative 3 eighths. That's going to that's gonna eliminate the fraction in one step. It's going to eliminate the fraction on the right side. This is the way they usually teach you to get rid of fractions next to, next to variables, is to multiply by their reciprocals. So there's just a y left on the right side. On the left side, you're going to get negative 3 eighths x minus what? Anybody know? What's 3 eighths times 3? 9 eighths, yeah, negative 9 eighths. Correct. So there we go. And I'm done, right? That's basically me solving for y. I just got one little step left. Rewrite y into f inverse of x. But in my case, it's not going to be f inverse of x. What is it going to be? It's not f of x. They gave me h of x, right? So I'm going to have to write h inverse of x. Because the original uh, name of it was h of x. Okay. So if they use g of x, then just write g inverse of x. If they use f of x, f inverse of x. If they use m of x, m inverse of x. Okay. Uh, whatever the letter is that they call the equation, just use that as your inverse. And that's it. This is what your homework's on.